Hello and welcome to the Jonas.net. My name is Donald Jonas and today I'm going to do a two-part video tutorial on how to format an external USB drive in a Linux environment and the next video will be on how to do scheduled backups to the same external USB drive in a Linux environment. The Linux distribution I'm using today is CentOS version 5.5 and it's a 64-bit edition based upon Red Hat Enterprise. And it's free to download at centos.org. In order to accomplish the formatting of any of the hard drives, external hard drives, we need a partitioning tool. And the tool I will be using today is called Gparted. It's an excellent tool. It's free to download. Um, I'm going to make this very simple. It just you're going to rely on two packages in CentOS and a couple of command lines. The package is RPM Forge release and a Python package. And I have the link to where you can download these on my website here. Let me grab it real quick for you. And that is right here. www.thejonas.net And just type in the word format. And there it is gparted. Here is the URL to download this package, this RPM Forge. This is basically a repository. Of course, I'm using 64-bit edition. You probably, if you don't have 64-bit, download a 32-bit. And here is the URL for the uh, Python package, and here is the name of the Python package. And these are a few commands, that, just refreshers, that I'm gonna go over in the tutorial. Okay, the order in which to install these will be the RPM Forge. Double click on it, install it, takes about a minute to install, very simple. Next will be the Python package, same thing, double click on it, install it, might take about a minute and a half to install. Then you're going to run a couple commands in terminal. Open up your uh, terminal and type in the word app, apt, hyphen, get, update. This will update all the libraries, I've already done this, it'll take about a minute for you. Mine did it pretty quick because there's nothing to get. And traditionally in, you know, uh, CentOS, Fedora, some of these different, pretty much most of the um, Red Hat based uh, distributions, you use the yum installation command. You know, yum install name of the package. It goes out and searches your repositories. And if it, if it can find it, compile it, install it, it will. And you can still use that. But now you have the luxury of using what they use in Ubuntu the app get command and we'll type in the word install and of course now we just have to get the name of the application which is G parted I've already installed it so there's nothing to install when you do yours it might take about a minute it's gonna prompt you yes or no to download type in Y for yes and you know let it do its thing and that's pretty much it you now have your partitioning tool and that will reside in applications System Tools, Gparted Editor. Pretty simple, huh? Now it's looking at, right now, my uh, file system right here, my native file system. And I want to find my external drive, which is a half a terabyte drive. And there it is, an NTFS. Just a quick note on USB drives. If you're going to use one plugged in as your um, backup drive, like what I do, you want to make sure your USB drive has its own external power source. Something you can plug into the wall because you don't really want to rely on the USB to provide power every night for doing large backups to the, your USB drive. It's not good practice. There's just too much strain sometimes on a USB port. So it's really good to get one. Most of them do come with an external power uh, supply to the uh, external drive. And of course, um, it comes in an NTFS format which is pretty much a uh, most of the large drives you buy in retail stores come like that. It's your native Windows format, which will work in Linux as long as you provide and install the right packages. And it, it's kind of an emulation kind of thing. It's not really recommended if you're just going to be plugged in doing your backups every night. You want to put this drive in its native Linux format. Most of these drives come in a FAT, FAT32, or NTFS format. FAT and FAT32 will work in Linux. It's just, it just has a limitation on file size. And so what we're just going to just remove this. Just click delete, hit apply. That will remove any kind of uh, formatting on your external drive. And now it should say unallocated. 
excellent. And we're just going to partition this now. So we're going to highlight the uh, external drive, the half a terabyte, and go new. And let's change it to ext3. You know, Linux has the extended file systems 2, 3, and 4. 2 has been around a very long time, and I use uh, extended file system or ext3. It's very mature. It's been out a fair amount of time, and a lot of work has been done on it, and it's a proven commodity. The ext4 has just come out recently. It has potential of being the best of the lot. I mean, but it's still not as polished as ext3. Eventually, I will, and I'm sure most of these distributions, their native file format will be ext4. But I think it's a little bit down the road still. So me, I stay with the ext3 until a little bit more work's done on ext4, which I'm sure in the very near future that will be the new standard to use. So uh, we have to give it a label. I'll just call it new USB one. Call it whatever you'd like to identify it. Um, when you create this in Linux, you know, it's kind of hard to change the name once you've actually formatted it and mounted it. So just make sure you give it something that, you know, you're going to, it fits your naming schema. Click add. Highlight it. And then we're just going to hit apply. It's going to give you the prompt letting you know it's going to delete anything you have on there. Since we know it's been erased already, it's no big deal. Click apply. And this should take about, uh, I would say, about five to seven minutes because of its size to uh, format, maybe a little bit less. So I'm going to pause the video and be right back. All right, excellent. It is now finished formatting. And within Linux, once it's done formatting, we have to remount the drive. And it's basically just unplugging it from the USB and plugging it back in. And I will do that right now. And there we go. New USB 1. And this is the drive we just formatted and it's now in an ext3 format and it is writable we will write a file to it here let's do a folder and call it test and that's pretty much it pretty simple and there's actually a utility out there that will allow you to view this uh, extended file format um, 3 within a Windows environment so when you do your nightly backups in, I, we're going to do in the next video and if you do want to remove it from your Linux box and plug it into your Windows PC and you would like to review those video or I'm sorry those backups all you have to do is just uh, plug it in and the utility that is used in Windows to do this is right here let me just open up this file here uh, ext um, 2 FDS it's a installable package for Windows and it's going to put an icon in your desktop when you install it called the XT2 Volume Manager. And that is available. I have the link on my website for that. Just type in the word format again and go search. And there is the link on where you can download that for your Windows PC. And now you got a drive that will work in Linux and Windows. And you can do your backup to the Linux environment using this. And what I'll do now is I will plug this into my Windows PC and you can see uh, it work. And you'll see the folder test. This will just take one moment. And now it's plugged into my Windows 7 PC. And now you can see it is new USB 1. Double click it and there's the folder test. And we can write another file inside of there. And call it test and we can delete it too and that's pretty much it so now this uh, external USB drive is now ready to do your scheduled backups every night um, in the Linux environment and if you watch the second part of this video I will show you how to accomplish that and you can also use this USB drive this external USB drive in your Windows environment it's very simple to do not difficult at all Thank you for watching my tutorial video and visiting thejonas.net and have a nice day.